Today, I'm going to show you how to build anything using OpenAI Mini. This is the latest model from ChatGPT and OpenAI. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how, in many different ways, you can build anything you want using this model. So let's get straight into it. The first place you can start is inside ChatGPT 03 Mini. You can choose between Mini High and Mini. Honestly, Mini is decent enough for what you want to do. And the thing to know about this is, you can build a lot of things directly inside the chat when it comes to, for example, I don't know, a simple website. So for example, if we say, okay, build a personal website to showcase your work, it's going to think that through, then it's going to plan it out, and then it's going to write the whole website in HTML like you can see. You can literally build like any sort of basic websites using this process. So let me show you how this works. So if you want to preview this, what you can do, because there's no canvas option inside ChatGPT 03 Mini, you can just grab the HTML, go to liveweave.com, plug in the HTML in this section, and then over here, you can take the CSS and plug that. CSS should go down here, not up here. Just so you know, this is for the JSS. You can see here, we've got a very basic website. If you want to build out something that's way better when it comes to websites, you can put in your brand colors, for example, like that. Then you can take some information about you. So let me take an example right here. I'm going to just grab all the information from here. We're going to go back to the chat inside chat GPT 03 mini. And I'm going to say, okay, create a beautiful modern landing page using these details for my personal website. And then I'm also going to say include emojis, nicely formatted headings, make it look absolutely amazing. All right. And then you will get a better version of what you previously created. You've coded a website. It works perfectly first time around but it's still got the blanks. It's not got much formatting or much content on the page and it's not personalized to you, obviously. So using this process instead, you're gonna get something that's much more customized, personalized to you and requires very little editing. So for example, if we take the HTML here, let's copy that, we'll plug that in. And actually what you can see here is there's actually no separate CSS files. So the CSS is actually built into the html code and bear in mind like i don't code at all i'm not a coder i'm not the type to be coding at all i have no experience with that but i can build out a website very quickly like you can see using this process and that was super easy right it's all customized for my brand colors it even includes a cta to book in a free seo strategy session it talks about me what i do personalized to me and that was so simple and easy now the other way you can use this is you can connect this to search right so if you want to build something for example, it's based on research or the latest news headlines or even the latest information about you that's out there, out there right? You could say comprehensively research Julian Goldie, everything about him, etc. And then build out a custom made website for him with relevant social media and funnel links on the funnel page. Same brand colors, but make the design more beautiful and modern and sleek and now that's building it out now one of the best things about chat gpt 03 mini versus 03 mini high is uh 03 mini is just really fast right so if you need quick iterations if you need a fast positive feedback loop when you're coding then it's going to be much easier and faster using chat gpt 03 mini like you can see right here and now we're starting to build out that website properly like you can see it's even for example it's taken testimonials what i offer information about me and that really didn't take long at all i will show you other ways to build better things but if you just want to do it inside the chat and you want to keep things simple and fast that's what you can do now another way is to go to platform.openai.com and then go to assistance once you've done that and inside assistance you can basically build whatever you want right using o3 mini so you can see here inside the playground we've got the assistance section and we can enter a name for our tool. So let's say, for example, I want to build a assistant that can turn YouTube transcripts into SEO content for me. So I can put that into the assistant name right here. Then I can say over here, use this for creating content when I paste in my video transcript. And you can do whatever, you can build whatever you want with this, right? Like for me specifically, it might be really good to build out a YouTube SEO content creator, but you could have a coder there. You could have a no code AI tool, whatever you want. You could build games with this. You can click on this as well. And you can actually ask the AI to update the prompts, etc. And then you're just gonna make sure that you've selected your model as O3 mini right there. Now you can tweak the dials as well. So for example, I, 
You can choose the response format, the reasoning effort, right? So whether it's high, low, or medium, and then which API you're using. Right. Now let's test this out. So what I'm going to do is I will take a video transcript from one of my latest videos. Let's have a look. So let's say I want to create an article using this tool that we've just built with O3 mini. We'll take the transcript from this video. So we'll go back to the assistant and we'll plug in the thread that we've got right here. Then we're going to hit run and you can see it's now creating the blog post based on the system prompt we gave it. Right. And if you want to go full screen on the prompt, you just click full screen, like you can see. And then we've got the system instructions right here. So you can always like tweak it over here and then test your tool over here. But that has worked almost perfectly as you can see. So it's even inserted the internal links. Let's have a look and preview this blog that is just generated in one click by building out the tool. And that's pretty good. Okay. So you got, says I'm Julian Goldie. I want to share my thoughts on Deep Sea Guy 1. Watch the video below. And then we would insert the video right there. What's it all about? And it's written like a really nice blog post based on the transcript, all the Q and A's, et cetera, all the CTAs to our funnel links. We just did that in literally one prompt using the assistance feature. And then what you can actually do is just build out loads of these AI assistants and you can save them inside here. If you want to create a new one with O3 mini, you create assistant right there. And basically like any sort of SaaS tool or any sort of idea that you have that you're thinking about building you can use this process. So far, just to recap, I've shown you exactly how to build our SaaS tools and these AI assistants using ChatGPT, using OpenAI's O3 Mini. We've also talked about how to build our websites quickly too. Let me show you some other stuff. So you can also use no-code AI tools. Now, one thing to note here, when I last tested it, and you should know this before you try and build anything with OpenAI, is uh, OpenRouter usually has an option for building out anything with OpenAI O3 Mini, but you can see here that you need a tier three API key to access a model, which most people are not going to have if you're watching this video, right? For example, other tool, other no-code tools, like for example, Bolt DIY are not working when I last tested it with O3 Mini. So just something to be aware of there, because you don't want to waste your time installing that, setting it up, and then you get your hopes up and it just doesn't work for a week. So instead, what we're going to do is make sure that you have Visual Studio code downloaded, like you can see right here. Then inside Visual Studio Code, what you want to do is go over to Extensions and make sure that you have Roo Code installed, right? This was previously known as Roo Client, super powerful tool for building out loads of different things using OpenAI. And if you go inside the settings right here, so you're going to go to Settings, select your API provider as OpenAI, plug in your API key like here. And if you want to get an API key from OpenAI.com, then you would just go to platform.openai.com. Then you're going to go to dashboard, API keys, create a new secret key, and then you can just set that up pretty quickly right there. Now, once that's done, you go back to Visual Studio Code. You're going to select OpenAI. You're going to plug in your API key right here, and then you're going to select between which model you want, right? For example, you've got an option between O3 Mini, O3 Mini High, and O3 Mini Low, right? Now, we'll just go with O3 Mini Normal. So it's pretty fast and easy to do. You can also see that there are limitations with these models, right? So for example, this doesn't support images. You're not going to be able to use computer use like Claude. So it's not going to be able to control your browser and it doesn't support prompt caching. So those are just things to be aware of whilst you're doing this. I also like to set up the settings to have auto approval on. And the reason for that is because each time I'm coding using RuCode, it can just create and edit files without me needing to approve anything manually. So once you've done that, we can click done. Then we're gonna go back to the chat and inside here, you can start coding whatever you want using Roo code. So for example, now you can see it's editing the file step-by-step. Step. You actually get the cost as you go along. So it tells you how much this is costing along the way. And that was incredibly fast, right? It says Space Invaders has been implemented and tested successfully. The game is functional and ready for use. And then you've got the details of the code and the command right there says it's open space invaders.html, which is this file it just coded right now. Now, if we click run command, that's actually going to open up a new window with the game that we just built using the AI from open AI 03 mini. So if we hit run command, so that's going to open up and look at this, that is working perfectly. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you right now is that when I was building out space invaders using chat GPT yesterday, directly inside the chat the outputs didn't work, right? But when you use, for example, a no-code tool, like RuCode seems to give you better outputs. Now that's because it's probably running it through. And also this is hosted locally, which means that you can come back to the project, you can save it offline, you can open up the folder again, 
And additionally, if you want to host this on a website, let's say, for example, you build out a site or an app or a tool or whatever you want to do, then you can go inside here, click on reveal in finder, get the folder that this file was hosted in. All right. And I'm just going to delete these other files. Then we're going to go back a second. We've got the folder inside finder. And if you want to host this stuff, just go to netlify.com. Then you're going to click on add a new site, import from an existing project and try netlify drop and just drag and drop that folder you just created with the files. Let's test that again. There we go. It's uploading and deploying the files right there. Now that's going to upload and deploy this to a subdomain. So it's like a test URL. And then you can just open that up on production deploy and your file is hosted, right? And then if you want to get this on a custom domain, just go to domain management, add a domain, plug in whatever custom domain or website you're trying to search for, make sure it's available. Once you've hit verify, you can buy it and host it. And it's one click to host a website as well as so create the game or the app or the tool or whatever you want. Let's test something else now. So for example, if we click on plus, we'll click We'll test a new project. So I'm going to say, create a beautiful to-do list app. That's going to run the API request. Now, whilst that's running, you might be going, okay, why would you use O3 mini say versus something free like Google AI studio or those sort of things. This is a logic and reasoning model. So the good thing about open AI O3 mini is that it thinks things through and it's very good at logic, which means it's good at reasoning, which means it's good at coding, right? So for example, when you're trying to build something, it's actually really good. If you're trying to write some content or if you're trying to get a quick answer, chat GPT 4.0 is probably going to do the job for you. But if you want to build something that requires more thought, more effort, etc., and you want to do it locally, then Brewcode combined with OpenAI 3 Mini does the job. So we're going to run the command now. We've got the to-do list app ready to go. We'll just test this out. And there we go. And if we want to delete a task from the to-do list, click delete, boom, we're done. Super easy and fast to do. Let's try starting a new task. And for example, if we say create a beautifully designed SEO calculator, SEO optimized for the keyword virtual content on page two plus a relevant calculator tool, keyword equals, link to this, blah, blah, blah. We'll hit enter and it just seems really fast and easy. I'd be interested to know as well how quick or how fast uh, OpenAI 03 low mode, which you can select inside the settings response is probably even faster when it comes back to your responses, but you're gonna get a better output than say something like the previous models such as OpenAI 01. So really it's about speed, right? There's never really been a reasoning model that replies as quick as this. So if we hit run command, we've just created that website. Obviously you could make it look a lot better, but you get the idea like super easy. Let's just test this out. So we're gonna put content word count equals, and then we'll put one as the keyword occurrence, calculate score, and there you go. You got the keyword density and the SEO score ready to go. So building to-do list apps, websites, games, etc. Rue code is very powerful for that. It really depends on the complexity of the task that you're building and how much effort you want to put into it. Because for example, when you're building out something locally, you can build out many more pages than you can do inside the chat of ChatGPT. So if we're looking at this, it's like, okay, if we had to put complexity on the right-hand side and results over here, then ChatGPT with low complexity tasks directly inside the chat will be really effective for building out small, simple projects using OpenAI 03 Mini. If you're using something like mid-tier complexity and you still want good results of that, then I would put over here OpenAI's platform and using the assistance feature is pretty good. But if you want something super powerful to build up big websites, more complex apps, games, etc., then Rucode is going to get you better results. Like I said before, the chat GPT directly inside the chat couldn't create a Space Invaders game. But Rucode using the same API but just building out locally gave us much better results because it's more complex as a project. So you get the results and then you can see the API cost here. It's still only half a dollar to build that out. Also, if you were using something like, for example, DeepSeekR1, that's going to be a lot slower to reply to you. It doesn't win on speed versus ChatGPT opening out 3 mini. The other thing to note here is if you want some free APIs, if you want to do all this stuff for free, then you can go to Google Gemini and then go to Google AI Studio, get a free API key, plug it inside root code settings right here. That is free to get. Also, what you can do is inside Open Router here, you can plug in your Open Router API key, and then inside the model selection, if you type in free here, you'll see all these different APIs you can get for free. So for example, DeepSeek R1 free, Google Gemini, Hugging Face, Meta Llama, et cetera. These are all free APIs that you can get access to as well. So just a little pro tip for you. If you're watching this, you're like, oh, 
I want to do this stuff, but I want to do it for free. And then that is pretty easy and simple to do. Now, let's come on to another method. All right, so far we've talked about assistance. We've talked about chat GPT directly. We've talked about RuCode as well. The final method that I want to show you is super powerful as well, because you can do so much cool stuff with this is using Windsurf, right? Windsurf has just implemented the API as well. And if we select the drop down here, you can see that we have O3 mini medium reasoning ready to go. And I'll show you why this is so powerful in a sec. But the first thing you want to do is to type in Windsurf AI on Google. Then you're going to go to Codium and you can see the details right here. I'll leave a step-by-step -step SOP for all the video notes from today so that if you want to follow any of these instructions step-by-step in a really easy to follow format, you can get that at the end of the video. Let me show you exactly how Windsurf works first of all. So basically over here, like RuCode, except it's the opposite way around. Let me show you exactly how to build anything using Windsurf. Windsurf is a really powerful coding tool that is connected to the internet so it can do live searches and also it has a memory option so it can remember like what sort of brand colors you use or what sort of funnel links you want to send stuff to you can get this at codium.com forward slash windsurf once you've downloaded it it's going to look something like this you're going to click on code with cascade like you can see now in the drop down here you can select between deep sea car one v3 o3 mini gpt4 o crawl 3.5 sonic we're going to select o3 mini like you can see and then if we say build a snake game, we'll hit enter. That's now going to generate the outputs. So you can see it's just creating the Python file right there. It's coding it inside our project. And then it says, do you want me to run this command? We can accept that. And we have the game ready to go inside our terminal, right? So what you can see here, and this did take a little bit of back and forth. I'm not going to be S here. I want to be transparent here. So I said, build a snake game. It said, I've created this files. So it didn't. So I said, build it out. And then it tried to run terminal a few times i think it didn't have the dependency so it had to go again and if we open up python down here you can see that our game is ready to go right so we've got the snape game it's working perfectly like it's amazing how well this works again i tested this on the chat the other day chat gpt doesn't work but when you run it in python offline like you can see we've got the game coded out beautifully so like even creating programs with the game inside really easy to do and you just imagine the freedom that you have now like you can just build out games apps tools run them locally build them locally zero coding experience like it's pretty scary how fast this has moved over the last 12 months for people interested in coding like i personally i wouldn't hire a developer to build programs out anymore unless it was something super complex because i can use the power of ai and get stuff done so quickly. So thanks so much for watching. I've shown you how to build anything with OpenAI O3 Mini. And what I've actually done is I've created SAPs for every single method that we've talked about today. So you can see here exactly how to set up each of these methods. For example, assistance, RuCode, Windsurf AI, etc. And along with that, I've also given you 70 different prompts that you can test out for SEO content optimization, data analysis, design, game development prompts, web development prompts, etc. Right now, if you want to get free access to all of this, feel free to get that link in the comments in the description. It this is my free SEO course. It comes with 230 prompts, tutorials, SAPs, templates, step-by-step -step SAPs, etc. And if you scroll down to the SEO system section, you'll see the module right here with all the video notes directly there also just to help you and support you along the way you'll get a free community with 3700 members like you see right here so if you need to ask people for help directly in the community you can and inside this community you also get another free aico course 50 free aico tools and 200 free chat gpt prompts just to help you and equip you with everything you possibly need to be successful with ai thanks for and if you want a free seo strategy session feel free to put there and links in the comments in the description we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session you'll get a free seo domination plan that's custom tailored to get more lease sales and traffic you'll discover the secrets of seo link building we'll answer any questions you have you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10x seo traffic based on what's working for us and the happy clients like you see right here thanks so much for watching appreciate it Bye bye